Categorization is the brain's tool to organize nearly everything we encounter in our daily lives. Grouping information into categories simplifies our complex world and helps us to react quickly and effectively to new experiences. Researchers identified neurons encoding learned categories and thereby demonstrated how abstract information is represented at the neuronal level. The tropics are becoming hotter due to a combination of warming associated with deforestation and climate change, and that can reduce the ability of outdoor workers to perform their jobs safely. Researchers are estimating how many safe working hours people living in the tropics have lost due to local temperature change associated with loss of trees. Computer and smartphone-based treatments appear to be effective in reducing symptoms of depression, and while it remains unclear whether they are as effective as face-to-face -face psychotherapy, they offer a promising alternative to address the growing mental health needs spawned by the COVID-19 pandemic. As technology keeps growing, political and economic leaders have utilized cinema in changing and shaping people's outlooks either for their own benefit or for the benefit of the people. Quality translations are also readily available and extremely affordable for everyone these days, which makes it easy for filmmakers to reach their target audiences from all corners of the world in their mother tongue. Heart disease is the leading cause of death for both men and women in the United States. While often thought of as one illness, heart disease is actually an umbrella term that covers a range of heart conditions. It includes diseases of the blood vessels, including coronary artery disease and peripheral artery disease, and so on. No matter where we go on the planet, there are stunning plants, flowers, and animals that catch our attention. They are two very important aspects of any ecosystem. Of all the living organisms on the planet, the most commonly seen by us are the plant life and the animal life.
When you take a deep whiff of your morning coffee, the smell of those fresh roasted beans darts into parts of the brain responsible for emotional and memory processing, but our other senses don't work in the same way. That's why smell can trigger a happy memory more quickly than touching the hot coffee mug or tasting that first sip. Australia has one of the world's most important mining industries. It is a major exporter of coal, iron ore, gold, and copper and is self-sufficient in all minerals bar petroleum. Since the first discoveries, the coal, in 1798, mineral production has risen every year. In the decade to 1992, it doubled. It was found that while many companies express interest in Jacobson's use case approach, actual scenario usage often falls outside what is described in textbooks and standard methodologies. Users therefore face significant scenario management problems not yet addressed adequately in theory or practice, and are demanding solutions to these problems. If countries can specialize in certain goods, they can benefit from economies of scale and lower average cost. This is especially true in the industry with high fixed costs or that require a high level of investment. The benefits of the economy of scale will ultimately lead to lower prices for consumers and greater efficiency for exporting firms. But on May 3, a couple of weeks later, Lincoln issued an executive order calling for 43,000 three-year volunteers for the Army, and also increasing the size of the regular Army and Navy by 40,000 men. Both of these actions were an apparent violation of the Constitution. Today, telecommunication is widespread and devices that assist the progress are common in many parts of the world. There is also a vast array of networks that connect these devices, including computer, telephone, and cable networks. Computer communication across the Internet, such as email and instant messaging, is just one of many examples of telecommunication.
A thesis is a claim that you can argue for or against. It should be something that you can present persuasively and clearly in the scope of your paper, so keep in mind the page count. If possible, your thesis should be somewhat original. The Royal Institution is an organization that has been around for 209 years. Many of the people that have worked here have been scientists themselves, including Michael Faraday. He made the discoveries that made generating and using electricity much easier, making it possible for us all to switch on lights, cook our dinner, play games consoles much, much more. It is precisely in observing the intertwinings of success and failure that chasing the flame makes its greatest mark. With piercing insight and relentless logic, it reveals the pitfalls of international politics and details an intricate struggle between individual and institution. It haunts us with the poignant truth that even a great man can do only so much to reinvent the world. It is very easy to acquire bad habits, such as eating too many sweets or too much food, or drinking too much fluid of any kind, or smoking, etc. The more we do a thing, the more we tend to like doing it. In later stage, if we do not continue to do it, we feel unhappy. This is called the force of habit and the force of habit should be fought against. Soil is the top layer of the Earth's surface, mostly created from weathered rock. It is made up of varying amounts of minerals, humus, or decayed organic matter, and useful living creatures like worms. The finest rock particles within soil form sticky clay, the medium particles become silt, and the coarsest constitute sand. While there is sufficient moisture, soil supports vegetation, providing a habitat for a variety of animals. Pronunciation is the way in which a word or a language is spoken. This may refer to generally agreed-upon sequences of sounds used in speaking a given word or language in a specific dialect, correct pronunciation, or simply the way a particular individual speaks a word or language.
In a landmark report published on Monday, the international financial institution called on states to reduce global emissions and bridge the development gap to avoid the effects of slow-onset climate change such as water scarcity, decreasing crop productivity, and rising sea levels. The interludes which break up the gameplay action, and which, because they can be made to a higher level of animation, often provide the most visually arresting sequences of a game. Combined with a taste for bizarrely complicated, recursive plots, and long sequences of wordy explicatory dialogue, this turns the games into a bit of a drag.